Hello guys and gals, and welcome uh, to another episode of Skills and Abilities. Today we're going to be covering one of the second to last lightning skills on the lightning tree uh, for the sorceress, which is Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm is an oddity. It used to be really powerful. I remember back in the day, PvP sorceresses would just stack up Lightning Storm. I, rem I remember this. They would just beef up Lightning Storm to its maximum. Um, and they would cast it, and then they would sit outside of town, and they would just let it hit you. And you, you couldn't even walk outside of town, because as soon as you walked outside of town, as soon as you literally stepped foot out the door, I remember it would just murder you. And there was, like, nothing you could do about it. Now, in a... <laughs> It's come a long way since then because Thunderstorm has definitely lost a lot of its luster. Um, it is a ability that you can't really control, which is another kind of a downside to it. And unfortunately, it doesn't really dish out anywhere near the level of damage it used to back in the past. Um, it does have some pretty good output, though, um, if you're utilizing other skills that synergize with it. So if you were a Nova Sorceress, for instance, and you beefed up Nova, um, you're probably also going to beef up the synergy for Nova, which is Static Field. Static Field is the synergy for Thunderstorm. Um, so utilizing the synergy for Thunderstorm and utilizing Lightning Mastery, um, we can get Thunderstorm up to a pretty decent level. Like It's not like terrible or anything. Um, at this point, at level 31, with a little bit of plus to skills, we're looking at about 3 to 5k damage per strike. Um, and it's a defensive ability, so it functions very much like any other defensive ability. You cast it, it goes underneath your feet, and that's pretty much it. Um, I mean, obviously, you would add it into your repertoire, so if you had things like frozen armor, you would recast your frozen armor. If you were utilizing energy shield... Um, you know, you would cast your energy shield. Um, it would basically just be part of your pre-buff routine. Now, Thunderstorm does have a radius, so as you level it up, I believe the radius actually does increase, and, um, and it will basically hit anything within that radius when they come close to you. Um, it does have kind of a rather long attack cycle, though. Um, as you can see here, like, it doesn't just attack really, really fast. It's just 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 1 1,000, 2 1,000. So it's about, like, once every two seconds it will come down and strike a single target. Now, the damage output on it isn't really that amazing. And to be perfectly honest... It does have some issues in the fact that it's basically just single target. However, it is just free damage. If you think about it more along the lines of this is just something that I can cast and not have to worry about at any point, then it's not as bad as it seems. Um, this is, I believe, Player's 8, by the way, which is maybe giving you guys a false impression of its damage. Let's go play with this... Um, in an area that's not player's aid. So we gotta change change zones real quick. <laughs> this character is not set up. I didn't even put any points in her vitality. Which I probably should do when I'm testing stuff. Let's give her some vitality so she actually has some HP. Um, but let's go to I'm trying to think of a place with a, not a lot of lightning immunes. Frigid Highlands sounds good. Let's go to Frigid Highlands. And of course we have Death Maulers right off the bat. Now, I think the most important thing to remember here with Thunderstorm is that you wouldn't be running around in circles like an idiot like I am. You would be actively dishing out targets. You would be using Static Field. Uh, you would be using Nova, you would be using things like this that would augment the damage. Um, and in this way, you would get... Uh, Oculus just got me killed. That is a that's a that is an example of Oculus getting you killed, by the way. If you guys have never seen Oculus getting you killed... So in that situation, I was perfectly safe, and I was running away from the targets, and Oculus teleported me back into the targets, which caused me to die. Um, this is one of the reasons why people don't like to use Oculus, by the way, because Oculus will teleport you into groups of monsters as opposed to um, saving your life. Now, it will save your life on occasion, don't get me wrong. There are also situations where you will be surrounded by monsters, and Oculus will actually save your life. But there's also going to be a lot of situations where it will also get you killed, too. So it's, uh, it's a double-edged sword. 
Um, Oculus also has the ability to teleport you out of Duriel's tomb, by the way. Here, let's go somewhere more baby-like. Let's go to Cold Plains. Let's go to the baby Cold Plains. And, of course, the first thing we run across is lightning immunes. I literally came here because Cold Plains is filled with fire immunes, but first thing I see is a, is a lightning immune. Lightning immune... Um, so as you can see here, in Player's 1 Hell difficulty, it can pretty much one-shot Carvers, which isn't terrible. Um, but in Player's 8, things do get a little bit more spicy. So it's a little bit more difficult to dish out the damage in Player's 8. Um, I personally don't really see the hate on this particular skill, because if you are any kind of build that can get good use out of this, it doesn't hurt to have this up. I mean, that would be like me saying, well, I don't want to use frozen armor because frozen armor doesn't do very much damage and I'm like well it's really just a cast it and forget it like you don't you don't think about frozen armor like frozen armor is just a standard spell that you have on every single um, sorceress you, you're you're not going to do without this spell so you just cast it and you forget it you know like Ronco or Tessa Regales, grills set it and forget it and that's really what thunderstorm is it's a set it and forget it spell you cast it, you forget that it's there. Like, you don't have to worry about the damage that it's dishing out. You don't have to even pay attention to the damage that it's dishing out. You just do your thing. You just you just cast your Novas. You cast your Static Fields. You just do the things that you normally do, and you let Thunderstorm do its thing because you don't have any control over it anyway. The only real downside to Thunderstorm is spending points in it. Um, a lot of this tree, specifically the lightning tree, tends to be very point heavy. And I've noticed this in the past is that, like, let's say, for instance, you're a, I don't know, a lightning sorceress. Well, we've got three synergies here, so that's 80 points total if you want to build up the entire synergy for lightning. Um, charge bolt is a, a little bit less, which isn't too bad. But Chain Lightning is just as bad as Lightning at a huge number of synergies. And so by the time you're done, you don't really have 20 points to spend sometimes on stuff like this. Um, there is the exception of the Nova Sorceress, which only has one synergy, which is Static Field. So if you build Nova, which is 20 points, and you build Static Field, which is 20 points, it's very easy to throw another 20 points into Thunderstorm, which only equals 60 points spent total. Um, and then Lightning Mastery, of course, complicates things further because you always have to put 20 points into Lightning Mastery, no matter what Lightning skills you use. And... Um, that's kind of like the really stupid thing about these skills, these extra add-on skills, is that a lot of times you just don't really have the extra points to spend on these add-on skills. Um, and I think that's where Thunderstorm ends up most of the time, is people just really can't afford to spend the extra 20 points into Thunderstorm for what is basically just add-on damage. Now, it could be interesting if they changed Thunderstorm a little bit, and I'm, I'm actually kind of curious about this, because if they did change Thunderstorm, say, by adding some sort of utility to it, I could probably see players maybe more interested in it. Um, like, for instance, let's say they added, like, a small micro-stun on Thunderstorm, so every time it hits a target, the targets are maybe stunned for, like, 0.2 seconds or something. Um... I could see, you know, players grabbing it more than. Uh, maybe the stun duration increases with level, which would encourage players to actually put more points into it. Um, there are a bunch of different ways that they could potentially make Thunderstorm more attractive. Like maybe even perhaps making it so that while Thunderstorm is active, all lightning skill damage will ha has gets an increase in its damage output. So like... Say, for instance, you had, like, level 20 Thunderstorm. Maybe you'd get, like, a 50% lightning skill damage increase as long as Thunderstorm is active. I mean, there's a couple ways that they could make it more a more attractive skill. But as it is right now, it's basically just free damage that you can cast at any point. Now, what do I mean by free damage? Well, free damage is something that you can just put on your character and not worry about. You could, for instance, have a off-swap weapon. Like, for instance... 
a memory staff, if you happen to find a plus three energy shield memory staff that also happens to have plus one Thanks. thunderstorm, then plus one thunderstorm will give you the ability to pre-buff with thunderstorm. You just cast it and forget it. Unfortunately, the duration of rather low-level Thunderstorm isn't the most amazing. Um, let me see if I can respec here. Um, so as you can see, with one point in Thunderstorm, we're looking at 288 seconds. And if I were to... Let me go ahead and throw some points in strength here. Um, I'm looking at plus 9 at this point. I could switch back to the Aki for plus 12. We're looking at 408 seconds, which if we compare that to Frozen Armor, um, Frozen Armor lasts for 276 seconds with one point. So I guess, honestly, yeah, it's not absolutely terrible with one point in it, but it doesn't do very good damage. It's 118 to 224 damage with only one point. Um, it's not really going to be very good without the synergies and, like, maxing it out. Like, for instance, if I was a Nova Sorceress and I had max Nova, then we'd be talking about, like, 504 extra damage per strike. But it really doesn't do good damage until you max it out. Like, you really have to max out... All of them, uh, and I didn't, you know what, hold on. Let's redo that, because I didn't do the Lightning Mastery like an idiot. Uh, so we're looking at about 988 with no synergy. Um, and if we did have the synergy, we're looking at about 2k, 2.2k, which isn't, like, too awful. And this isn't even with a maxed out Sorceress. So if you were running, like, maximum Lightning Skillers, if you had... Um, you know, plus lightning mastery, um, like uh, as many plus the skills in the lightning tree as you could possibly get, you could probably get some pretty decent damage out of Thunderstorm with a one-point wonder and the static field synergy. Um, the static field synergy, I think, is the key here because that's how you get most of the extra damage from the ability anyway. Um, which means that Nova Sorceresses, in my opinion, should probably one-point wonder Thunderstorm basically no matter what. Um, there doesn't seem to be any reason to avoid it, except for the fact that it requires, what is that, four skill points to reach? So one, two, three, four skill points. Which is a little, it's a little much. Four skill points to get down to that is a little much. But most Nova Sorceresses are going to build Energy Shield, which means that you're going to build down to Chain Lightning anyway to get access to Energy Shield. So there shouldn't really be much of an issue. Um, I don't think there's much more to go over when it comes to Thunderstorm. Um, used to be an amazing ability. Now it's a subpar ability that most people avoid. Um, but honestly, I can't really see why most people avoid it. Like, I feel like it's just one of those skills that you add into your rotation. Like, if I was a sorceress and I had, say, you know, energy shield, I've got my frozen armor, um, you know, maybe even I'm running, like, enchant or whatever, and I've got my little pre-buff cycle and so you know like you go through your tree and you've got like f1 f2 f3 and then f4 it's literally just a matter of switch to your swap weapon f1 f2 f3 f4 Not here. like that's literally all you do you run out f1 f2 f3 f4 and then you're done and then you just do everything that you would normally do anyway like there's really no difference between adding in thunderstorm into your your pre-buff <laughs> and not having it in your pre-buff. Like, it's just a pre-buff item. Um, and if you're going down that side of the tree anyway, you're going to have one point in it. If you're a Lightning Sorceress, you're already going to have Lightning Mastery. If you are a Nova Sorceress, you're already going to build the Synergy for Static Field. Um, and more often than not, you have enough plus to skills to make it do a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, in this particular situation, I am dishing out with one point in the actual skill and maxed out mastery, I am dishing out a total of 2,570 damage per strike, which isn't terrible. It's not awful. Um, with a 408 second duration, it's going to last longer than Frozen Armor does with the same one point wonder. So you're going to be recasting all of your abilities when you recast Frozen Armor, which means that Thunderstorm will never run out. Because Thunderstorm is going to be recast at the same time that you recast Frozen Armor every single time you do your pre-buff cycle. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos. And uh, keep watching.